Ladies, Sharon's here. I am so glad you joined me today. My ladies, today is going to be fantabulous. Are all wrinkles created equal? I don't think so. So, I want you to stay tuned for that. For all of you that are new to my channel today, I invite you to scroll on down, hit that subscribe button, click that little bell and notify you of my upcoming videos, and then you're a member of my tribe. I want to thank you so much for being with me. Okay, my ladies, <laughs> it's about wrinkles. I don't know whether you knew it, but we have more than one type of wrinkle. All wrinkles are not created equal. There are different types of wrinkles. I want you to pick up a handheld mirror, okay? How many of you have a handheld mirror handy? Now we're gonna do this together. We're gonna look in our handheld mirror here and we're going to look at our imperfections. We're going to look at all of our wrinkles, our little wrinkles and our big wrinkles. Now let's take, for instance, the wrinkles on our forehead. When we lift up our hair, in my case, I have to lift up my hair, and I look at the wrinkles in my forehead, just like you do, I'm seeing some wrinkles there. But I'm also seeing that I soften those wrinkles out. Those wrinkles in my forehead are called resting or static type wrinkles. This is the worst part. You can look around and see any kind of wrinkles folding into the texture of your face. There again, those are resting wrinkles. Now, we get down to the nasal lobial lines and then the marionette lines, girlfriends. Those are deep, deep wrinkles. We call those dynamic. So, the resting wrinkles are wrinkles that just go with our everyday environment type of thing. It's when we sleep. It's when we get out. It's whatever. We just form wrinkles that way. We form wrinkles by smiling. Okay, we form wrinkles by laughing. We form wrinkles by talking. That's how we get our lip lines up here. So, all of those are different types of wrinkles. These deep wrinkles here in the nasolobial marionette lines, those are completely different wrinkles. They're dynamic. I think of them as deep dynamic, the letter D. <laughs> That's my own thing I came up with. All right, but just like when we frown, look at, look at the lines between our L's. You can see it's time for Botox again. Those are dynamic lines. Okay, so now that we have studied our face, and you can see the different wrinkles. Don't be so hard on yourself. I know you're looking at your age spots. You're looking at your pigmentation issues. You're looking at how deep your pores are. Stop doing that to yourself. These are things that we can take care of. We all have the same issues. You know, we've got poor issues from time to time. You know, we've got fine lines and wrinkles. This goes with our age, my ladies, okay? We have pigmentation issues. The most important thing to know is that all of these can be taken care of. Okay, so put your mirror down. For Pete's sake, stop comparing yourself with people on Instagram. Oh my gosh, they all use filters. Hello. That's why you can't see the wrinkles. Look at me all wrinkled up here. I don't use any filters. I never have and I never will. I'm just going to show you the way it is, okay? And that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to talk about how to soften the resting or the static wrinkles and then how we handle the dynamic. Okay, so we're diving into the world of wrinkles here, my ladies, okay? If you decide, and it is your choice, that you want to do something about your wrinkles, let's talk about two ways we deal with wrinkles. First of all, we deal with them on topical and injectable. Now, if you're concerned about the finer wrinkles you've got around, then we need to talk about topical products for that. Okay, so if we're going to tackle the dynamic facial wrinkles, as I call it, we're going to go into the doctor's office and we're going to talk about some injectables and what we can do. Right now, for instance, I just showed you my 
uh, elves coming up again because it's been oh, about three and a half months since I got my uh, Botox. So I will go back in and they will inject me one here, one here between my eyes and each little line. And that will relax the muscle so it's not with every gesture I have and going like this and talking then you won't notice those lines because what it does it is it numbs the muscles beneath the skin so you don't have that muscle movement going on that is what Botox does it will soften that and of course with that uh, she'll inject one up here and she does one one here and that softens the two lines in the forehead because you know I'm all over the place. I'm so animated. Everything has to be filled and poked all the time, girlfriends. So the next thing that I will have done is to get my Botox around the crow's feet. I get one, two, three injections on each side. Little quick injections. It doesn't take many units. And it softens the crow's feet. So that is the way, these are dynamic with all the expression we use. It's not like our everyday relaxed static type lines that we get on our face. These are dynamic lines because they are showing up and they will get deeper and deeper and deeper with more animation, more age, more sagging, more everything, girlfriends, okay? so. A little Botox goes a long, long way. Now, some of us, and I will get to that later, can soften the eyes with other controlling products, which, which I'll show you in just a moment, but I want to finish this first. Now, let's talk about the nasal lobial lines and the marionette. There's not a cream. There's not a, There's nothing you can do to plump those back up and fill it in. You will need fillers to fill it in and I get uh, Juvederm here and Juvederm here but the nasal labial lines are a whole different ball game I, I need quite a bit going in there the thing about it is it plumps it up so you don't have the deep lines and that takes age off you it takes that basset hound look away from your face if you will don't get me wrong ladies i love puppies i've got them myself and i used to have basset hounds but i was starting to resemble them too much that's why i had to go to the doctor but back to the story what i want you to totally think about is that these are the only things that are going to take care of the dynamic wrinkles now let's reverse a little bit here and let's talk about well, okay Sharon I just I just have a little bit crow's feet here I want to fix and you know I just I just want to give a little maybe more plumpness and hydration to my skin okay we can do that but we've got to do it on a cellular level where it goes down deeper into the cells meaning you're going to pass you know that epidermis go to the dermis okay because you're going to have to build it through the cells if you want to get this plumpness that means you're going to have to go to more medical grade products for instance let's say for super super hydration you want hyaluronic acid this happens to be a medical grade hyaluronic acid by skin medica this is fantastic probably the best on the market according to everyone this hyaluronic acid is the number one choice and I'm telling you, if it didn't work, I wouldn't be using it because it's not cheap. But it is the most effective hyaluronic acid that I've ever had on my face. And believe me, I've tried a bunch. I mean, I'm not crazy. I just didn't go out there and use medical grade for nothing. I use medical grade because that's the only thing that works for me at all. Hello, girlfriends. There you go. It's what works. Now, the next thing that you want to think about is keeping your skin brightened as well. And I do that with another medical grade product, vitamin C. Okay, this is Skin Ceuticals with Ferulic Acid. This is the only one that works for me and that is the best medical grade vitamin C I've used. You know, I used to use Revision way back when because Revision is made much like the Truth Serum Vitamin C. That was great before I hit 50. 
After 50, I had to have a bigger gun, and this is what did it for me. This keeps my skin bright and alive looking. I love my vitamin C. Love it to pieces, girlfriend. The next thing you've got to talk about that every gal needs is she needs her retinols. Whether it be retinol or retin-A, which is another word for tretinoin. And I use the 0.1%, uh, the big gun, and have for eons and eons and eons. This is what does a lot of the exfoliation and softens some of the lines on our face. This is good for your static. This is good for your resting wrinkles. This is heaven. What it does to the barrier is incredible, but it goes down to a cellular level. So it treats even more than that. It treats elastin as well, and it builds up cells. This is what causes the cells to start working and doing their thing and giving you that young, youthful look. All right, the next thing that you've got to concentrate on is good eye products. You have got to use a medical grade if you're going to try to soften some of these lines under here. And in the daytime, I use the Revision DEJ. It is the best of the best of the best for daytime. Now, I will tell you this. If you have bluing under here, try the Revision product called Teamin, T-E-A-M-I-N-E. -E. That is good for the darkness under the eyes. That eye cream is so and I used to use it too, not so much for bluing, just because I love that product. But the DJ, mm, kick butt, and I use it every day. In the evening, I am always, always, always using my Skin Medica TNS Eye Repair. Now, this has your growth factors in it, and that takes care of everything under your eyes. It keeps them youthful. It keeps them pretty. It takes care of the lines. That's why I have very little Botox done, because of the products that I use. I would probably be spending a fortune going in getting Botox or fillers if I didn't use these products. But as it is, I, I don't even need that much, and I can wait longer periods of time as well by using my medical grade. It's all about saving that money, girlfriends. And don't think just because medical grade's expensive that that's not being less expensive for you as far as Botox, yes. Especially when you go to the sellers that I provide for you, okay? All right, the next thing is everybody needs rejuvenating serum all over the face. And there's only one and one only, and that's TNS Essential uh, with Skin Medica. This has your growth factor, your peptides, amino acids in it. It's got antioxidants in it. Every single thing are in two chambers. One chamber is all about the growth factor and everything. The other side is your peptides, your antioxidants, and everything. It's got a dual pump right here, so it comes out together. So you get everything. Thing you need all those products in this one product this is the best of the best this is the holy grail let me tell you yes ma'am ask your doctor he'll tell you the same thing the thing about it is we have got different wrinkles that need different treatments now the medical grade is great for the resting and static treatments that you look in your mirror and say oh boy I look like a dusty road. This is not exciting. This is not very cool. There you go. I just gave you the main products that you will need. The other products that you will need is seeing your doctor because it's so important. Every single person's skin is totally different. My skin used to be so drippy, oily, I could just slide out of bed for real. I would bead up constantly growing up all, all through life. Because I'm going to tell you what, when you get older, <laughs> your skin looks a little younger. You got kind of a jump start there. It'll last a little longer, if you know what I mean. But once you hit that menopause, girlfriends, get ready for the dusty road. Things are going to start drying out on you. This is where you need all this medical grade skin care to keep you young and youthful and plump and hydrated and oh my gosh, keep you from sagging down to your knees. I'm telling you, girlfriends, that's all that's going to do it. I know.
It, you know, it's heck being a woman, but you, you know, you got to suffer to be beautiful, and sometimes that means in the pocketbook. I'm going to always put this as a main staple on my list all the time, because I never want to run out. I never want to not have my medical grade, because truly, I don't have any time to lose. I'm 70. I'll be 71 here in what? Uh, two more months. Ah! <laughs> it's nasty. I... Do not want to be without my medical grade. I don't want to be without my Botox either, and I don't want to be without my Juvederm. Now, there's ways that you can save money on your Juvederm and your Botox, and that is by buying different skin medical products and other products, some things like Derm Store, Beautylish, things like that. You will get points on brilliant distinctions for everything you spend on that those products and you'll build points by doing Juvederm and Botox of all kinds. So I always get points like I'll go in again and I can tell you right now I've got enough of my brilliant distinction points when I go in to get my L's done it's not gonna cost me a dime. Instead of you know spending three or three fifty you know for my L's I won't have to pay a dime because I have enough points built up from my last visit. This is what is so fantastic about it is you get points and this helps you. But like I said, ladies, please go see your doctor and let him prescribe the right methods for you. And it could be that he wants you to start out with the medical grade before you even go to to Botox or to something like Juvederm. That's going to be strictly up to the two of you. I follow my regime with my doctor to the T. I mean, absolutely I do. And I told you, I'm getting ready to go on because my face is really, I mean, I'm 70. Come on, girlfriends, it's going to sag, okay? And it is sagging, okay? No matter how much my elastin's been built up, we still see a little sagging going on here. The best way to take care of that is to go in and put in some Juvederm right in here, you know, Voluma type, which is by the Juvederm company, to give this a little lift. I have no problem with that. My gosh, you know how long that lasts? Now, it's lasting two years, that filler. <laughs> Piece of cake. I love to save money, yes. So, if it lasts two years, hello, girlfriends. Mm-hmm. But your doctor will know what you will need and what you don't need. So by all means, go check with your doctor first. But by all means, ladies, I have to tell you this. No matter whether you're sitting and you're relaxing and you're looking at your resting wrinkles, no matter if you're laughing and giggling and you're animated and you see your expression lines, these are expression of you. Now, you can age gracefully and that's up to you. Or you can take a few years off of your face and you can feel really, really good about yourself. Now, I'm not saying you have to do that to feel good about yourself, but you do feel good, especially when you get compliments. But I am telling you that there are different types of wrinkles that require different treatments. So I think we all ought to go out and go, we hate wrinkles, we hate wrinkles. Let's get rid of them, girlfriends. Let's do away with it. We're turning over a new leaf. We want to feel sassy, classy, and confident. So you take care of you. Until next week, I love each and every one of you. All my new subbies, mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you so much for being with me. To each and every one of you, let's do it together, my ladies. Stay sassy, classy, and confident. And give me a big thumbs up on this video.